I first found out Matthew would need a procedure at 20 weeks um, ultrasound. They looked at his heart. They thought he was laying wrong, so they had me positioned different ways. And the doctor came in and looked at it again and told us, you know, we need to talk. He has something wrong with his heart. so many different emotions because we were told he was a boy and we had wanted a boy. Five minutes later they came back and said, you know, there's something wrong. We decided to go with a hybrid surgery because it was so much easier on his little body. The um, traditional approach to children with single ventricles uh, was developed really in the, uh, in the 1980s uh, and championed by Dr. Norwood and it's called the Norwood approach, Norwood stage one, Norwood stage two, and then the last stage is called the Fontan completion. And it really was a lifesaver. But if you look at the past decade or so, it really hasn't uh, completely changed or improved past where we are. We had looked at the Norwood surgery and I was very terrified that he would have to go through all that at three days old. So the goal of the hybrid approach was to say, hey, it's time to think differently. Is there a different way that we can approach these children and try and improve their overall outcomes? I felt very confident with the hybrid procedure specifically. It just it made me feel more at ease to know he was, being a newborn, he was not going to go through an open heart surgery at that point. The uh, hybrid approach for children with complex single ventricles is um, a three-step uh, surgeries. The first one is um, really a modification of some old techniques and some new techniques put together and a goal to avoid cardiopulmonary bypass and some of the risks. Then the second stage procedure, which we call the comprehensive stage two procedure, because there's a lot of steps to that, really encompasses all that was the traditional stage one and the traditional stage two, and puts it all together in one operation. But we're doing it at a time that the child is bigger, stronger, um, and the result in physiology actually seems to be safer for them. We came out in record time of nine days, I believe it was. The third procedure um, is called the Fontan completion, and it's really the same whether or not you started as a hybrid or you started with a traditional approach. I think the main difference is they seem to come into this last procedure in better shape, stronger hearts, less complications, and overall in better health. And then from there, probably just checkups and hopefully the occasional heart cath. The, uh, the staff has been wonderful here. I'm very confident I gave the right decision to do the hybrid. Dr. Glanowitz has been wonderful. <laughs> Who better to do the surgery than the creator of the hybrid?